Diario. Hello, buddy. This is your one and only Boat Lava Sir 77. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at something really, really cool for MC. So, I have to do, let's just get started straight up on the video. So, guys, before we do start this video, let's see if we can hit an amazing like goal of 69 likes on this video, guys. If, if we can hit 69 likes on this video, that honestly means the world to me. So, let's definitely try and smash that like button. Also, guys, if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't even subscribed, then come on, man. What are you doing with your life? You got to subscribe to the channel for some epic amazing banger content i promise you guys will not regret it whatsoever with that being said without further ado let's just get started straight up in the video all right guys so you guys have heard by the title we're going to be teaching you guys how you guys can reduce lag in mcp so the first thing the very first thing you guys need to do is disable any texture packs whatsoever that you have in minecraft so we're going to disable the building client and also guys you could also download this texture pack right here which is called the 4x4 texture pack it should help a little bit with the lag it shouldn't do too much but yeah, guys, if you guys want, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys would like to download this. Now, I just want to warn you guys, your Minecraft is going to look a lot, very ugly. But if you're trying to make a YouTube video and stuff, this is helpful for those of you YouTubers who do not want to have lag in your video. So yeah, guys, you guys can try to download this one if you want. It's the 4x4 texture pack. It's not actually 4x4, but it's classified as 4x4 uh, by the dev. But it's actually a 16x16 texture pack, just in case you guys are wondering. So it's not going to make too much of a difference, but it should help a little bit just because uh, the de your device shouldn't have too much stress trying to recognize each and every individual pixel pixels. Uh, this seems to be pretty consistent with the whole like color scheme and stuff. You don't have a bunch of stuff going on in the background. The only things that are 16 by 16 is stuff like mobs, but other than that, you should be fine. Uh, but yeah, I recommend that you guys do this. Another thing you guys could actually do is make sure you guys do have your Wi-Fi off and also turn off your Bluetooth and yeah that's pretty much it for that you can also enable airplane mode uh i did hear that also could help and it'll prevent notifications from coming in and stuff in the background from going in so yeah guys if you guys want you can also enable airplane mode um also guys you could we if you go to your po local power control now for me it already has, says it right here shield power control now y'all should be able to find it under system preferences but if you can't find it, just watch a video on how you guys can act, on how you guys can set your device to the maximum performance uh, based off of what device you're using. Because for other people's devices, it might be different. But for me, this is how it is. So what you guys need to do is basically just tap on this thing right here. And then for me, I, as you guys can see, it's set to max performance already. But by default, most manufacturing companies set it to like optimize or battery saving mode. Uh, just so that way you have a balance of power and battery and just because you don't really play much games on your tablet or iPad that's like would you use a PC or an Xbox or a PS4 for uh, but yeah guys that is pretty much that so just make sure you have it set to max performance as you guys can see I've already manually set it so this thing should be running perfectly fine um, also guys what you guys can do is if we actually go back into Minecraft uh, you actually before I even do that Sorry guys, I'm kind of all over the place. I didn't actually come prepared for this video. So what you guys can actually download is this thing right here. It's called the Dr. Booster Client for MC. It's not specifically for MCP, but it's supposedly an app that's supposed to help reduce lag in all of your games. Now you guys can get this for free on the Play Store, but me personally, I wouldn't recommend it. And also another annoying thing about this is it actually resets your setting every like almost every time you enter Minecraft. So basically that means you have to change your skin every time you almost every time you get on my, back on Minecraft. You have to change your skin, you have to change your name, you have to sign into Xbox Live again. And you have to change all your settings back to what you initially had it to or whatever you were currently using. So that's kind of unfortunate. That's actually really annoying if I do say so myself. And also guys, it's I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I did say in a previous on another video that you guys should use this. Uh, but I don't know. I I just feel like this thing doesn't really significantly improve your performance that maybe helps like with like a few frames per second but it really doesn't make a difference so yeah guys if i were you guys i probably wouldn't even recommend downloading this app you could try it for yourself um but yeah it's just kind of one of those apps where i feel like it's just like it says it helps with lag but it really doesn't so yeah guys but yeah we're gonna go back into minecraft and yeah see we have this little annoying thing that says do that and if you actually click on that little circle that says ram uh, it's actually going to reset your whole settings in Minecraft. So that's honestly really annoying. I hate that. 
but yeah guys you can also download this texture pack i already think i think i already said that yeah so you guys can download this texture pack we're gonna actually try it now and you guys can see stuff is changing now i personally recommend that you guys download any texture pack that specifically gets rid of stuff in minecraft um so like particles and stuff stuff like that reduce fog stuff like that but other than that i mean anything else like 64 by 64 texture packs and like anything like that make sure you have it disabled and you don't have it in use also make sure your um stuff your add-ons and stuff is disabled too so that way uh you don't encounter any lag but yeah guys you guys can see this is how the world does look as you guys can see this texture pack seems to be doing a pretty good job so far you guys can see the sky is the default 16 by 16 as well as the mobs right here you guys can see our piggies are back to are just the default resolution but everything else is four by four i'm assuming uh, i think it, it was actually converted uh it the texture pack the default textures in minecraft were converted to four by four and somehow the the creator actually fit it inside of a 16 by 16 texture pack if that makes sense i know you guys are probably a little bit confused um but yeah just so you guys know this is a 16 by 16 texture pack but it is classified as a four by four texture pack um and i guess the reason is is because it obviously looks like it's four by four and I feel like this is supposed to reduce lag, I'm pretty sure. Just a slight bit, though. I don't really notice too much of a difference. Uh, just because there's a lot less pixels on the blocks, so you won't have to... Your device won't have to recognize all those extra pixels and be stressed out. But yeah, guys, other than that, this seems to be running pretty fine. Now, I do also recommend that you guys just turn down your settings. So, I'm not sure if you guys are aware. I mean, well, okay, that is a big lie because I know 100% every single one of you guys know how to do this but yeah guys i mean i know a lot of you guys aren't gonna like this the whole point of you guys trying to find out how to reduce lag and edge speed is so specifically you guys cannot have to reduce this anything but let's be honest it's really annoying but for those of you guys who don't know this is actually the most detrimental this is the most important thing when it comes to reducing lag uh so yeah you guys want to try to turn down your settings as much as you can so like for instance turn down the render distance all the way if you can uh, it does look a lot more uglier, but as you guys can see, it's running a lot more fine now. As you guys can see, it's much more smoother now. Uh, I know a lot of you guys won't like that, but that's just kind of the reality. You can't really do much when it comes to reducing lag in Minecraft. Like Minecraft PC, we have real Optifine clients and stuff. This one, we have somewhat of a real Optifine. Not necessarily real, but it does help a little bit when it comes to reducing lag. But yeah, guys, this is honestly not too bad. Um, but yeah, for me, I don't have to turn around my settings all the way, but you guys, so if your device is still lagging, then I probably recommend that you guys obviously disable fancy graphics. So you guys can see we have it checked. We're going to uncheck that right now. And you could even disable the beautiful skies and the smooth lighting. And basically it's just going to make your Minecraft look very, very, ugh, this looks terrible now. This doesn't even look like a Minecraft. But yeah, guys, that will help significantly with the lag. But definitely, me personally, I have somewhat of a powerful device, despite only having 2 GB of RAM, I do have a powerful processor on my device, so I shouldn't really have any problem with lag, necessarily. So, yeah guys, you could turn down the settings, but I personally recommend that you guys just kind of turn down the rest render distance almost all the way, and you should be good to go. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the video, I hope I did help you guys out, I do want to apologize for making this video past 8 minutes, it was not supposed to be this long, but... It was just kind of a bit of an in-depth tutorial on how you guys could reduce lag. I am sorry if you guys did watch this video with the intention of not wanting to have to turn down your render distance or any of your settings in order to reduce lag. But that's just the reality of it. You can't really do much outside of that. I did show you guys some tips that you guys could try out. But I can't guarantee you some of these things will work 100%. Uh, and it especially depends on what device you guys have. You could purchase a new device, but let's be honest. Who's going to be purchasing a new device just to play Minecraft? I mean, hey, if you're rich, then go go for it, I guess. Get a get a powerful phone. You could try using an Asus ROG phone too. That thing is an absolute beast. It has like 8 GB of RAM on that phone. The processor is pretty good too. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I'm sorry if I did talk. Also, do you want to apologize if I did... Uh, kind of be a little messy in today's video. I'm just kind of all over the place But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video I want to thank you just want to guys for watching and I'll see you later. Peace out guys. See you. Hopefully you guys are staying safe and Have a wonderful day. See you. Bye. Bye